Question number 20. Now, uh, P is the point zero three. Q is the point four one, And R is the point A3. It's given to us that the product of the gradient of PQ times gradient of QR equals to negative 1. Now, let us first find 1 by 1 for this equation. Gradient of PQ. So, gradient of PQ will be equals to Y2. Maybe I should label this x1, y1, x2, y2. So it will be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times the gradient of qr. So maybe I'll call this uh, x3, y3. So it will be y3 minus y2 over x3 minus x2 and this is equals to negative 1 now let us simplify this what do we get 11 minus 3 is 8 8 over 4 that gives me 2 times 3 minus 11 will be negative 8 over a minus 4 this is equals to negative 1 so if I were to keep this over here and I need to divide away 2, I'll get negative 1 over 2. Uh, cross multiplying, I'll get uh, negative 16 equals to negative a minus 4. That gives me 16 to be a minus 4. And A will be 20. Sure. P is the point 0, 3. Q is the point 4, 11. And R is the point A, 3. But we already found A to be equal to the value of 20. So R is now 23. They tell us that PQ is perpendicular to the line QR. Find the coordinates of point S so that uh, PQRS is a rectangle and we need to use vectors. So actually, if you will find the coordinate of point X, it means I need to find vector OS. Okay, so what should OS be? I do not know, but we should work out. So let's do take a look at the diagram given to uh, the points given to us. If I were to sketch a simple diagram. Um, P is the point zero three, right? So this is probably point P. Q is the point four eleven, probably somewhere here. Okay, so this is P to Q, and they tell us that uh R is the point twenty three, so twenty three maybe somewhere here for point R. Okay, and they are perpendicular to each other. So I need to find the point uh, S, so that's P, Q, R, P, Q, R, and then point S, so that this is a rectangle. Now, if I want to find the coordinates of point S, it's actually finding the vector of O, S. So I'll need to think from O, the point origin O, where can I travel to before I reach S? So probably it can go from O to P. And I will have uh, OP plus, and then I'll travel from P to S. Now, this vector P to S is actually the same as the vector Q to R because they are parallel lines and they are exactly equal. It's a rectangle. So, plus a vector QR. So, let us take a look. OP is the point P is the point O3, so OP will be the vector 0, 3. Q to R will be o Q, Q to O plus O to R. Now, Q to O is negative opposite direction of OQ. So OQ is for 11. If it's the opposite direction, I'll have... Minus 4, minus 11. 
And finally, OR is the vector 23. So plus another 23. Simplifying everything, let us see what we'll get. We'll get the vector um, 16 and negative 5. But they want the coordinates. So therefore, coordinates of S will be 16, comma, negative 5. Next part C, they ask us to calculate the area of the rectangle PQR and S. So I know that uh, PQR S is a rectangle. And if I want to find the area of a rectangle, it will be taking the length times breadth. So actually, we need to find the magnitude or rather the length of PQ. So to find length PQ will be um, square root something like Pythagoras theorem, something square plus something square, and inside there will be subtraction. So it will be 0 minus 4 square and 3 minus 11 square. That gives us a simplified form. Um, square root of uh, 4 square plus 8 square, that would be square root of 80. And then let's find the value, f the length for QR. Length for QR will be also something like the Pythagoras theorem. Something square plus something square. So in this case, I'll get um, 4 minus 20, 11 minus 3 square. Square root of, let's try to keep it as a nice number. Um, 320. So the area will be length times breadth, which is um, square root 320 times square root 80. And that gives me a total of square root 25600, which leaves me with 160 units square, square units.